Hello everyone and welcome. My name's Lainey and this is Big Girls Really Do Cry. So I thought I would do a top 10 of my favourite Mackham words. Um, I'm going to say Mackham slash North East because they are quite used around here essentially um, in this in this area. Um, so Firstly, um, obviously, I am a Macam. But what a Macam means is to be is a person from Sunderland, basically. And I'm from Sunderland, so that makes me a Macam. And the word Macam comes from the shipbuilding days when we used to make them or mack them, as we Macam, as we would say. Um, and um, they used to take them, basically. Um, I believe that is the sailors, although maybe it's also the, the Geordies because they used to fit the engines etc after we built the, the I suppose the outer parts of the ship they would then stick an engine in it I believe I'm not 100% sure on that so don't quote me <laughs> anyway I just thought I'd give a rough like my top 10 I don't know if it's a top 10 because it's like in what order would I put these so I think it's just 10 yeah so we'll just call it 10 Macam words and they're my favorite ones I was I was trying to think of ones that I use and then maybe ones that are not that often used but then I do love if you know what I mean and it's funny when you say something your accent and the words that you are used in your area um that are not used in other people's area and then you're kind of like huh but it's so logical to you because you're from here and don't you've always known these words so but yeah anyway we'll get into it get into it right so the first word i'm going to go with is oh what i'll do is i'll i'll write the word on the screen as well well I'll be technical um, so you'll see it as we go along so the first word I'm going to talk about um, is pagged um, so I'm not really sure if anyone knows what that might mean and maybe you'd want to pause and write in the in the uh, comments below what you think it means and then continue the video and see if you're right um, but the word pagged basically means extremely tired um, or, or knackered. I'm not sure if everyone uses the term knackered, but we'll just go with extremely tired, extremely fatigued, <laughs> but you're pagged instead. So, <laughs> and, and it, I suppose it can be used, you know, if you've had a really busy day and you can just say, oh, I'm, I'm pagged me, you know what I mean? Um, and yeah it's just it, it's not something that i think is used a lot for me personally um not saying i've not, I, I i would say i've used it before but i probably would refer to knackered first if i if i'm honest but uh, i just like i like the sound of the word i just i think it sounds nice does that work <laughs> anyway so we'll class that as number one even though we're not doing them in any kind of order i'm just giving you a a 10 <laughs> if you know what i mean um so word number two is pelt um so <laughs> um if i it, it, this can be used in sort of in a, in a couple of ways I suppose well it, it basically means fast uh, to run fast so you would pelt um, but also if you were to throw say a stone or a ball um, you could pelt it um, meaning you throw it like really fast and hard probably but it's like you know and also if like you were chasing someone you could be you, you could pelt after them um, or you know if you're talking about it at a later date you could you could say to your friend oh i pelted after them you know what i mean um but yeah basically just means to 
run extremely fast like fast and as hard as you possibly could really and i suppose this it, it well, like i said we could use it in terms of like throwing a ball or something like that and you could pelt it at someone um so yeah again it's just it is it i didn't ever really think about these words before but i just thought it's a good you know if, if you if you've never heard them and i suppose to a lot of people who are watching this that have never heard any of these words before you're probably like thinking it doesn't even make sense and then you've got your own words and i'd be interested to know what your words are for the sort of same things and maybe what i'll do is i might do a few videos in this like and look at other look at um the words of other areas and and see how how i view it and what i think see if i can work out what they mean um okay so moving on to, num to number three so the the word number three is film <laughs> i had to put this in um and it's just really more of a pronunciation rather than a, a separate word altogether isn't it it's um just the way we say film um because everyone else for some reason says film and movie but to me a film is like a a film of something like a layer of a film <laughs> you know what i mean i know what i mean but it's become a running it's become a kind of running joke now that it, it's like everybody who comments now puts like f i double l e m because it sounds like I'm saying Phil M but yeah <laughs> but uh, yeah it, it's just I've never ever thought about it before until I started doing this really and the odd time that you ever spoke to anyone outside of your area before doing this and not, not really thinking about the way you speak and your accents you know what I mean like your pronunciation or whatever it's just natural because it's what we do <laughs> anyway so that was number three moving on to number four number four is lifting now lifting's a strange one because you think yeah well you're just lifting something up aren't you but no not in Macam speak in Macam speak it means a really bad smell so you could say this place was lifting and it meant that the place absolutely stunk or you know what i mean it, um the the bin was lifting you know and it just meant the bin really stunk but also people can use it as a person was lifting as well so yeah um i i don't know where the origins of these words come from i just know that the words that we use and again lifting is probably not something that i would i would use personally like maybe more maybe as a kid maybe or something but like not as an adult um and i'm not even sure if in you know modern times like because a lot of words disappear don't they like things that we said before i'm not sure if those any of the words i've said so far are still used by kids or if they've got their own ones these days and so on and so forth you know um okay so number five number five is spelk now um i always find it weird when nobody gets this one it's just like because it's normal to me so a spelk would be something so i would go oh no i've gotten a spelk in my finger which would basically be a little piece of wood you know when you catch your finger on something it's a little piece of wood that gets stuck in the in the top very top layer of your skin and it knacks um and then you've got to get a, a heated pin and try and get it out and i think in in i mean i'm not sure what everyone says for it but obviously we say spelk and i know that some people say splinter but to me splinter is huge like in comparison to a spelk like a, a splinter is like you know something that you um 
put to keep say like a whole piece of wood that you were putting to keep your your um well not a whole piece of wood but maybe something that you would splint your, your toes together if you'd broke a toe or something but it would have to be bigger rather than just this tiny little piece of wood that's getting under your skin also splinter is um uh, the master of the teenage ninja turtles isn't he and uh yeah he's a lot bigger i'm guessing <laughs> okay so word number six i've got to say canny anna because it's canny <laughs> the thing for me is canny anna is like it's uh, it, it's sort of a word to exp uh, express or add on to if that makes sense like someone can be canny in so you could just say oh margaret's canny you know what i mean and that means that you think margaret's a nice person basically but then it goes so much deeper than that because you can go oh the weather's really canny uh, or it's canny bad meaning like something's worse than bad it's canny bad um or someone's canny good looking which means they're pretty good looking i suppose maybe it's just like has like weird i don't know i never really think about it i suppose but doing this is obviously making us think about it <laughs> but i just see it i just see it all the, like, i say it quite a lot so it's can he bad it can he nice day it's uh can he sandwich <laughs> don't know why i said a can he sandwich but oh such and such is really can he but mostly i think it's used as like to say someone's canny oh that's canny oh, i've got a um, new outfit and then you go oh that's canny you know what i mean it's just it's a i, I suppose it actually <laughs> It's probably more of a positive word, really. When I said canny bad, maybe canny bad's not as bad as bad. I don't even know my own language, do I? <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it, it's just sort of a way of expression, I guess, of like, but, but I suppose we could have just gone with, oh, Dan. No, I, we can't. We can't go with a nice because nice to me is not a nice word, which sounds really bad. But to me, right, when you say nice, it's like, it's like, um, oh, average. You know what I mean? Whereas canny sounds better. So I'd rather be canny than nice. So there you go. <laughs> That's my logic anyway okay so um i forgot what that one was what, what was i on um seven number seven i'm on so number seven is clots so the word clot clot or clarty all refers to mud basically so if you are full of clots so you've been out as a kid and you've been playing and it was muddy and you come back and your mum goes oh you're full of clots you're treading them through the house because it's all over your shoes and your, and your pants and whatever um yeah it's it's um i i like i like the sound but i don't know why i just do but um clots and then you can be clarty, you know what I mean? Because you're covered in clots. Full of clots. It's just clots, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, it just be it basically means to be covered in mud, really. Um and then usually getting wrong off your parent for trailing it through the house, that kind of thing. Okay, number eight is Ben. Now, I think some people know what this means now. Um, I don't think this is as... I'm not sure... Be, like, I, don't, I think people are, are more aware of this word than they used to be, if you know what I mean. 
so yeah so basically what bairn means is a child um so you can say my bands you can say oh the bairn you know what i mean and it just basically means you're talking about a child um and that's it but it's just i always say bairn i never say child i never say i don't know i, I just say the bairn you know it's just natural it's just I can't explain it and I probably couldn't stop it but yeah Ben um okay so that was number eight so number nine is bait so basically bait and I remember seeing this not that long ago and, and nobody knew what I meant and then I had to explain it and then they didn't think it made sense because to most people bait is what you put on the end of your fishing line to go fishing and maybe the reason we use it is because you take you're taking bait for the fish you're taking bait for yourself so basically bait is a pack lunch here um so and and maybe at school I would have said pack lunch you know what I always said to my son oh here's your pack lunch because he was at school and and yeah I probably wouldn't have said your bait then but when you go to work you can't continue saying pack lunch can you it just sounds like you know <laughs> I don't know like you're gonna open your box and it'll be some space raiders and a in a yogurt and an apple in some cheese sandwiches wrapped in foil <laughs> i don't know but yeah um so bait is basically a packed lunch um and then number 10 i have gone with howie so you can see howie man you can see howie sometimes we add men on our man on the end of howie i don't know why but we do um and how it basically means come on hurry up you know what i mean that's basically what how it means um and i definitely say this a lot um and it, I, I really like the word how it i don't know why so there's there's also a difference because Macams and Geordies are, are very close by, but we say Howie spelt H A W A Y, where they say Howie, so theirs is H O W A Y, just for a difference, but yeah. Um, so basically, yeah, it just means come on, hurry up, Howie, man. Like, if you're waiting for some, I, that's usually when I say it because I'm waiting for my kids or something, so we, Howie, man, you know what I mean, and it's like, hurry up. I mean, come on <laughs> but yeah so yes that's my 10 Macam words um i hope you've understood them and you're probably sitting going eh what to say that for but uh and i hope you now understand Macam's a little bit better um as i said i will put the uh um well you'll have seen it it's, i don't know why i'm saying it because you'll have seen that i've put the words on the screen for you but um yeah i i, I didn't go with the way i man <laughs> because it's so it's uh, I, I, I did debate about it but and i mean it just means yes like of course kind of thing why i yes of course um but there's also a little bit of something like why i like a disbelief in it as well like if someone says something and you don't believe them you can kind of go oh why i man like i don't believe you but i don't even know why i'm explaining this because this is past my i've just done 11 now and i <laughs> but um i think that the thing is is that, that if anyone knows that you're from the northeast and one you usually get told you're a geordie which is one thing and two that's the first thing everybody says to you why i man like that and you're like yeah <laughs> i'm just kidding um i don't mind really honest honest <laughs> anyway thank you everyone for watching and um if you're not subscribed please subscribe 
and like the video and I shall catch you next time. Bye bye now. Bye bye.